Hello and welcome back to Kim's Beauty Basics. I'm Kim and I'm back here with another review of a product. Um, this time it's from a different company. It's from Stila Cosmetics. I haven't reviewed anything um, from that brand yet on my channel, so I thought it would be a great time to do it. It's a liquid glitter eyeshadow. So I figured it was a good time to like do a little bit of an amped up look for nighttime. And yeah, I just really wanted to test it out. It's another package that was sent to me in the mail. And again, not from PR, not from a makeup company, just from my mom. She sent me this package with um, the also the Lancome highlighter, which I reviewed in a video um, previously. So if you want to check that out, check that out there. And then this one is by Stila. I believe all of these products are sold at Shoppers Drug Mart. I know that the Stila Cosmetics one definitely is because it had a tag from there. So that is where she purchased it. So that's if you're in Canada. If you're in the States, you can definitely buy it from Stila Cosmetics online or from Sephora. So if you're interested in this review of these liquid uh, glitter and glow eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows, um, then just keep on watching. If you do end up enjoying this video, uh, please uh, like it if you do. And um, if you would like to subscribe, I do videos like this. I try to do um, approximately two videos a week, a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on school and work, but I try my best. I really enjoy doing this. So if you do uh, like this video, please subscribe to see more of my content and check out my other videos because um, I have a lot of the products that I'll be using on my face later in my other videos. So if you're wondering about other products, everything will be listed in the description box as well. Anyways, we're going to get right into the review. So getting into the review here, I have two of the Glitter and Glow or Magnificent Metals or Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I don't know why they have two different names listed on the two boxes that I have, but these are them. So I have the shade Bronzed Bell, and then I also have the shade Kitten Karma. Both of them have 0.153 fluid ounces and or 4.5 milliliters. They both say they're long wear sparkle eyeshadows and it says the perfect mix of pearl and glitter for maxed out shimmer, lightweight water infused formula, locks in sparkle for minimal fallout. So we'll see about the fallout as I apply it. It says apply one coat directly along the lash line and center of the lid. Use your finger or firm brush in a tapping motion to blend edges or and set. Wear alone or over eyeshadow and discontinue use if your if irritation occurs. Just looking on the website, it is available on Sephora.com, but it says all 11, there's 11 shades in these Glitter and Glow liquid eyeshadows and they're all available on Stila. They're retailing currently for 31 Canadian dollars or 24 US dollars. Bronze Bell they describe as a bronze with silver and copper copper sparkle and then the other one kitten karma they describe as champagne with silver and copper sparkle so first things first i'm going to swatch uh these products this one is kitten karma so that's what it looks like there this is kitten karma really cute and i'm just gonna open up bronze bell as well and here are the shades side by side so you can get an idea one's a little bit more bronzy obviously and the darker one here is Bronze Bell. And this one that's lighter, the champagne -y undertones, is uh, Kitten Karma. Both have copper and silver sparkles in them. So I'm gonna go in and do a quick eye look. Just a bunch of neutrals. This is gonna be the star of the show. I'll zoom you in and speed this up. Okay, so we're back. Um, this is the eye look that I came up with. So I'm gonna be adding the Stila liquid eyeshadows on to the lids. I think I'm gonna go in with Bronzed Bell. It's got a doe foot applicator. Ooh. So pigmented. I feel like Manny MUA right now. Okay, I don't even know what to do, so I'm gonna... Mm. Uh, I'm gonna do one at a time. So to use a hard brush and to blend out the edges. Okay, trying to blend the edges a bit. So that's the look right now. It's still drying down. Um, got a ton of color payoff. I have a little bit of like glitter poolage down here. I'll try to do the same thing with the other eye. I'm gonna go back in with that bronze bell and do the other eye. All right, 
to go in and blend out the edges like the other side. So we have some very shiny lids right now. So I forgot I was gonna add a little bit of the Kitten Karma underneath my eye here. So I'm just gonna do that quickly. This seems a little bit dangerous. The doe foot applicator is great for the eyelids. Underneath the eye, it might be a little bit scary. Going in with Kitten Karma, which is the more champagne-y um, color. I'm gonna try to do underneath my eye. Holy glitter, Batman. I didn't have much fallout um, with my first application, but I'm finding a little bit more with this under eye one because it's under the eye, so it's e closer to fall and it's easier to fall. It's not really hanging on to anything. I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna go put on some eyeliner and mascara and see what we come, came up with. Hey guys, I'm back. I just applied my liquid eyeliner and um, mascara. I'm using my tried and true um, Lash Paradise with a little bit of L'Oreal Telescopic as well layered underneath it. Um, so I got the volume and the length that I want. Um, I also used my NYC City Proof 24 hour liquid eyeliner, which I reviewed on my channel and tested against another really cheap drugstore brand. So if you wanna check that out, please look through my old videos. But anyway, so this is the look. Um, I really like it. Um, I was a little scared that I looked like a disco ball when I was just looking at it before I applied the eyeliner and mascara, but I really like it. It's a really nice holiday look, so if you have any like Christmas parties or even if you want to do something for Halloween that involves glitter, like this is a really nice option. Um, so I'll let you look at the lids there. The lids turned out really good. I like that I layered a little bit more of the shadow on the inside so it's a little bit brighter and then like a little bit less on the outside. It's still there but it's like a little less um, of the bronze color. This is the bronze bell on the eyelid again and then the Kitten Karma underneath which is nice but I um, did put some black liner to ground it a bit and I, I like that look I think a little bit better. Um, I was like oh my gosh I put way too much stuff on but I like how it looks. I did just to heads up I do you do get some some fallout with the glitter so just be careful um, I got way more when I applied it underneath my um, underneath my eyelid but like applying it on the lids you don't get too much fallout as long as you don't like mess around with it too much but I do really like how that turned out and it's picking up really nicely on camera but yeah this would be to me a really nice holiday look even with this red lip I kind of look like I'm going out somewhere for Christmas but Oh well, it's just October. Other thoughts are, it is really nice. Just be careful though if you have sensitive eyes because getting glitter in your eyes is not fun. I didn't get any yet in my eye, although on removal it's gonna be a little bit tough not to. I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna jump right into the shower to get this off. Final thoughts for this Stila Liquid Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow is I really like it. I think it's a really nice uh, liquid glitter. I don't think I've had anything similar or I've run into anything similar, so I don't think there is like a drugstore dupe at the moment. Um, I will keep my eye out for that, but this is a really nice product. It is higher end, but um, for $24 US um, or $31 Canadian, I think it's a really good buy because you won't need to buy the whole collection. Just pick out the color that you like, swatch them, um, and then if you like one of the colors, pick them up, and I think it would make a really nice holiday look for um, your eye makeup needs. Obviously, you're not going to wear this all day, so the long wearing aspect of it is kind of lost on me, but it's lo long lasting enough where it it'll last through for a night, which I think is great. You don't need it for 14, 24 hours wear, but I think um, this is a really nice holiday eye look and I think it makes uh, your eyes really pop without having too much effort. Um, it was really like a simple neutral eye look that I did underneath and then just added this and now I suddenly look like, hello, I'm a Christmas tree. I really like it, I hope you did too. If you have any questions, just uh, ask me down below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to review this product because my mom sent it to me in the mail, so I just wanted to uh, try them out because they're really cool and who doesn't love glitter? I love glitter. If you want to connect with me on social media, I will put my social media handles up here and the link down below which you can just click and follow me. I would love to hear from you and connect with you. Um, if you tried any of these products, let me know um, if you like them, if you don't like them, or if you have any other questions for me. 
feel free to ask. I am just starting out on YouTube, so I would appreciate any and all support. Um, if you want to see more videos like this one, feel free to subscribe. I really appreciate you watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it, and until next time, guys!